I'm Ariana, and when thinking about what to talk about, I was thinking, I'm going to talk about how to shop for shoes. But that didn't really get approved, so I'm going to talk to you guys about what I'm really passionate about, which is your kidneys. Yeah, I know. I'm 15, and I'm going to talk to you about your kidneys, but what can I tell you? So let's find out. Your kidneys, yep, right here. Recently, the National Kidney Foundation did a study that 50% of America, Americans don't know what their kidneys do. Our kidneys, kidneys are our friends. Personally, I think that they are our best friends, that's just my opinion. Our kidneys are the master chemists of our body. So, 100% of our blood is filtered by our kidneys about every five minutes. Also, they filter out the waste products because what goes in must come out and they also remove extra fluid. They also balance our body's fluids and control red blood cells and blood pressure. As well as that, they adjust the levels of minerals in our bodies, such as phosphorus, potassium, and calcium. I think that's important. So do you guys, or you should. So our kidneys actually produce something. Unlike the heart that just pumps our blood through our body, the kidneys can produce stuff for us. Our kidneys produce enzymes that make strong bones and signal bone marrow to make more red blood cells. And if that doesn't happen, our kidneys couldn't filter the blood and then the heart would not be able to have the blood to pump. And if the blood ain't flowing, the mouth ain't moving, and I wouldn't be here talking to you guys. Numbers. Why does everything have numbers? I'm not a fan of math, but everything has numbers. And these are well published by the CDC and the National Kidney Foundation. One in 10. That's a pretty big number. One in 10 people have kidney disease. So there's about like 30 of us here. Three of you could have kidney disease. What's even more alarming, one in three. One in three people are at risk for kidney disease. And they don't even know it. That's more of you here that could possibly have kidney disease and don't know. So cure for kidney disease, yeah. There's no magic pill poof, you're all better. But thankfully, we have options that can help us with our kidneys. Option A, there's dialysis. There's the first dialysis, which is hemodialysis, and for about three days out of the week, roughly three to four hours a day, they stick a needle in you when you get to see your blood go through a machine. I'm not a fan of needles, and I don't like to see my blood go through a machine, so I'm gonna make sure to take care of my kidneys. Another form of dialysis is peritoneal dialysis. This is where they stick a solution in your abdomen, and then throughout the day, you do a fluid exchange. Again, I'm gonna keep my, health, my kidneys healthy so I don't have to do this. What else can you do? The cure for kidney disease is a transplant as well. What they do is they stick a new kidney in your abdomen, and it just sits there, and they hook it up so that it works. And what do they do with your old kidney that doesn't work? They just kind of leave it in there. And once you're done with this, you have to take medication to make sure that your body doesn't reject the kidney because it is not actually yours. So there's this transplant list and there's currently 123,000 people waiting for a transplant. 101,000 of those are waiting for a kidney. A liver, you need a living donor. A heart, or you need, you can't have a living donor. A heart, you can't have a living donor. Lungs and pancreas, you can't have a living donor. And you only need one kidney to live, and you can get a living donor from that. Out of each person waiting for a liver, a heart, a kidney, and a pancreas, 14 and a half people are waiting for a kidney transplant. The silent killer. This is what kidney disease is known as. Because once you go to the doctor to ask and see if you are at risk for kidney disease, you are part of the one in 10 that already has kidney disease. Like a heart attack, you get symptoms, with kidney disease, there are no symptoms, and once you start questioning it, it can be too late. This is why it is the ninth leading cause of death in the United States. Now, I, I support breast cancer, I buy the pink socks, I love the fact that there is so much awareness for cancers. But what people don't know is for every four people that die from breast cancer, five people die from kidney disease. Yes, we support breast cancer, and I love that. But did you guys know that March is detonated to designated for kidney awareness. There's a worldwide kidney day in March. We need to start wearing the orange socks. And for every three people that die from prostate cancer, five people die from kidney disease. 
those born after 2000, and yes, that does include me, can have diabetes. One in three are obese, and obesity is a major factor of kidney disease directly and indirectly. Directly because your kidneys have to work harder to filter that blood so your heart can pump it, and I can be up here talking to you guys. Indirectly because it is a major cause of diabetes and high blood pressure, which are the number one and number two causes of kidney disease. Now that dialysis I told you about, yeah, that cost $71,630. That's the cost of two new cars. Now this is not over a lifetime. This is each year. Think, two new cars each year. That's pretty nice. The cost of that transplant? $262,900. A six-digit number. From pre-op to post-op, that's the cost of two new houses. So, while you're waiting to get a transplant, you are put on dialysis. But once you are put on dialysis, it becomes the sun to your solar system. Your family, your work, and your doctor's visits are all centered around your dialysis treatments. Your vacation, yeah. There's a 1-800 number to make sure that your dialysis center is close to your hotel so you can get your treatments. But thankfully, we are fortunate enough to live in a time where this is possible, possible so that people with kidney disease can live more normally and comfortably. 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a pretty big number if you ask me. Sadly, 12 people each day pass away from having kidney disease. By the time we leave this TEDx event, two people will have passed away from having kidney disease. Preventable epidemic? Yeah, we can actually do something to stop kidney disease. So what do we do? We could leave it up to the government, or we can start teaching it in schools. Kids in kindergarten, first grade, and second grade can take kidney smart classes to become aware about their kidneys, so that kids my age don't have to worry about their kidneys. Your family. When you go home, I know we like to talk about what's on Saturday Night Live, but instead, find out, does this kind of stuff run in your family? I know. My cousins, they have diabetes. My grandpa and all his brothers, they have high blood pressure. Now they're thinking that drinking the steak juice wasn't so good for 50 years. And I know. Chronic kidney disease runs in my family. I'm part of the one in three that are at risk. But now that I'm aware of my kidneys, I know I can do what it takes to not become part of the one in 10. What else can you do? Get tested. This is probably one of the easiest things you can do. All it is is a urine sample and a blood test and a five second conversation to find out if you have kidney disease. Now, that's all the major stuff, but what else can we do that's really simple? Put down the social media. Yes, that means no more Snapchat. I know, that's very sad. Go outside and exercise. Ride your bike. Take the salt off the table. Eat foods that are high in solid fats and don't eat, eat the sugary food so you can actually taste the flavor of the stuff. So let me ask you a question. How many of you here have a bottle of water? OK, well, did you know that has a lot of sodium? And that's not good for your kidneys. Tap water is actually healthier for you, and it helps the environment, so you're killing two birds with one stone. So we do live in America, and in, in America, we like things fast and we like it now. And that is very great, but we need to get out of the fast food lane, that's the fast lane to kidney disease, and get in the walking lane and start walking around, exercising, and put down the bottled water. So when you leave here today, don't, ride your, don't take your car, ride your bike, put down the bottled water, and get tested. Thank you.